Hi there, welcome back to my channel today. So today's video is my budget with me with a little bit of extra special information. I'm actually going to be sharing with you along with our household bills, how I'm actually splitting up our money, our income in terms of what we're investing, what we're saving as a family, even fun money. I'm also going to share with you my side hustle income from YouTube. I'm going to actually give you the exact amount of money that I made in January from YouTube. So if you're brand new to my channel, I hope you really enjoy it. It's a total dive into my household. I'll show you the example of the bills that we have living up here in Scotland. Three bedroom house, I've got two small boys, one husband, two cats. How we divide up our money, how much money we put in, for example, our food and petrol money, our fun money, as I say, our investment pot and savings pot. And it allows you to see how I manipulate and move our money around really to get the most from it. So the point of today's video is to show you how a normal family uses their money and also to highlight one of the benefits for us of actually saving and investing, particularly with the focus on time and financial freedom. Everything I do with our money, our household income, is so that it's creating a better tomorrow, but also living life right now. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take you over to the computer, I'm gonna show you my autopilot money spreadsheet system. It's my budgeting tool, it also helps you pay off debt, set up sinking funds, work towards financial freedom, but I'm going to show you the budget part for our family. The breakdown of all our bills, our mortgage, our council tax, you can see it all there, the exact amounts just so that you can compare it to where you're living. Now, what the thing is to understand is I'm going to show you the percentages in each of the categories that are important to us. We follow the money stacks method. This is my money system that I kind of created, an amalgamation of different kind of money systems out there. But essentially, it splits our money into six distinct places. We have essentials, we have long-term savings, we have fun money, we have investing, we also have giving, we also have education. So there's very distinct areas of how I like to actually spend our money for the future. So you're going to see that in action. I'm going to also share with you the percentage that we've seen in our investments year on year growth. And then as I said, my side hustle income. So let's get cracking. So as promised, here is our real family budget. Now I have taken away my monthly income and anything else that comes into our house. I don't want you to focus on how much money I earn. I want you to focus actually on the bills and how we split up our money. So as always, there's a couple of main bills that come out and you, what you might notice, our bills are actually quite sparse and that's with particular focus. The past four years, our family's made a conscious effort to get out of debt. We do not have any debts, no credit card debts, no consumer loans apart from from our mortgage. And one of the big focus areas for me and my family right now is to get rid of our mortgage. So we are overpaying our mortgage by roughly 10% every single month of the monthly amount. So that's not 10% of the whole mortgage, just 10% of the monthly amount. Now why I do this, I call it my 10% rule. So if you make that small commitment to overpay the monthly amount, you will eat into the debt faster. You'll also save yourself a huge amount of interest. But with a mortgage, you'll actually drop down the term from between 10 to 12% just by adding on an extra 10% of the monthly amount. So our monthly mortgage bill up here in Glasgow for a three bedroom house is roughly about 680 pounds, but I top that up even further and it's actually now 728 pounds or just over. So that's our mortgage bill right now. We are coming into the end of our fixed rate period for one portion of the mortgage. The rest is on a five year contract, so we're absolutely fine. So we'll probably see a slight increase after July, but I'll work on that accordingly. So our mortgage rather than being 25 years is now down to about 21 years then we do not have a council tax this month yay so basically what I did was I've removed that from the budget and this is where you can give your feedback here. But I basically put that amount straight to investments. We saved that money because we weren't paying council tax this month. It was effectively surplus. So I thought, right, it's not money that we are seeing. Let's invest it. Let's make money from that money long term. Our gas and electricity is a combined amount. We use bulb at the moment. So if you watch a number of these videos, you'll know that we were closer to 140, 150 pounds combined for gas and electricity. I moved to bulb. Obviously, it meant that we use our fair a friend code so we got 50 pounds off our bill and so did that person who referred us and we've now consistently seen our bill being 101 pounds just nearly 102 pounds so we've saved 40 50 pounds a month through switching if you fancy finding out how much they could save you as well i really rate them they've really been fantastic i have my refer a friend link below you can go and check it out it means that you get 50 pounds off your bill and so do i so just be aware you are clicking a link that's my refer a friend code 
We then have a factor fee of £13, which is basically non-negotiable. I can't influence that and it's for the area that we live in to maintain the gardens and the side streets and everything like that. The only insurance bill, bill that we pay monthly for, as you know, is our pet insurance, which I think next year I'm going to pay that in full as well. So that's obviously still on the budget of just over £14. We don't pay monthly for car insurance for either my husband or I and we paid that in a lump sum and I'm doing the same next year when that's due in a couple of months so that's not on our monthly budget but it will be included in a sinking fund in our savings. Now then we break down some of the other costs. So we have two mobile phones that are SIM only so those are really cheap £11 and just over £13 for my husband and I. Our bank fee, so we pay a bank fee of £15 because we get AA road cover included, we get travel insurance, we get property items, some of like the mobile phones or computers are included in that insurance as well. It worked out far cheaper to take that coverage with the account than to get the insurance separately. So we're keeping that right now. Our internet, our broadband is £32 just over. We don't have cable TV. We don't have anything added on other than the broadband. Um, so that's as cheap as it can get. We don't want to watch live TV in any way. So we don't pay a TV license either. Then I have my private hosting for my website, £4.19 a month. And then our only luxury item is really a Spotify. Now, outside of that, there's two main funds that you can see. We have our food and petrol fund. Food, we have a monthly amount of £350. But if you've been watching our other channel, which is the Kempson House, you can go and find on YouTube, you'll know that we're trying to do frugal February. So that means I'm really being tight with how much we're spending on food and petrol and fun and everything like that. So that £350 I've budgeted for this month but I actually want to see if I can only spend a couple of hundred pounds ensuring though life does not suffer. Same with petrol you know we're going to take more options perhaps to walk and use public transport this month so we'll see how that goes. Now the next areas I don't have exact amounts but I'll tell you the percentages. So Vanguard I put into our investment ISA every single month. The first of the month the first thing I do we automatically put 10% in there and I also save 10% of our income. Then for our giving amount we actually usually give five percent to charities or causes that we believe in in the month so now let me show you the percentages according to the money stacks that we actually put in different pots for our household income and also the first time i'm showing you my youtube ad revenue and i'm going to show you my analytics as well that would be really super fun if you're somebody who's got a side hustle as well like me you've got a day job um, it'll be nice to document how that perhaps increases over time to show you effectively what you could achieve if you're interested in doing a similar way of a side hustle so investments we saw a 6.8 percent year on year growth comparable with our investments i'm super happy with that. I invest in the Life Strategy 100 fund. I also tend to buy the FTSE All Global Fund, which is the high yield dividends. So that actually pays us back something near enough every quarter in dividend. So that's a global fund as well. So go and check out Vanguard. If you fancy having an investment ISA with them, make sure whatever you pick, you're happy with your investments. Don't just do what I do. Savings overall percentage is still 35%. Um, your savings rate as a percentage of your household income will drive effectively when you're financially free. The higher the percentage you save, the more the bigger the pot of money that you have and eventually will replace you know, your income if you like. So 35% means we'll be financially free in about 15 to 17 years if that was the only avenue that I was taking. Obviously, I've got side businesses and everything like that is supporting life. So that amount matters, but um, it's not my goal to make that as high as possible. Now, the next stacks, essentials, that's all our main bills food and petrol we're at 52% and um, then financial independence that's our 10% to Vanguard I'm also putting 15% pre-tax into my pension via my employer and their contributions. So that's outside of that 10% that is post-tax into our investment ISA. Fun money is for living life. Guilt-free is still 10% of my household income. Education is 7%. Long-term savings has gone up to 16% this month because I put the extra council tax money actually into our savings and investments. So that meant that real shift there. And then giving, we're still giving a small percentage of 5%. I'd love to see that up to 10% and that's why frugal February is going to be really great this surplus of money how I'm then going to manage it I might invest it I think we're going to give it away to other people as well so it's really super inspiring for us now the side hustle income as I said pre-tax I actually made in January £815.74 from YouTube now how YouTube effectively pays me for my channel now is because I'm over 1,000 subscriptions to my channel and also well above 4,000 
5,000 hours of watch time every year. They then will run adverts. I can't dictate when they when they or how often they run adverts on my channel. But basically, if you click on my video, it's likely that you might see uh, an advert in the middle of it or at the end or at the start. And they then pay me a small percentage of the ad revenue that they have got. So now I want to do is actually show you my analytics of my YouTube channel. I thought this would be super interesting. So in the back end, when I upload videos, there's in an analytics section. And I'll come on to this most days and analyze, you know, how many people are watching my videos, um, if there's any trends I need to be aware of, if people are clicking off my videos and anything like that. So if you've got a YouTube channel, this is my one for January, you'll see that I made £815.74, as I said. The monetized playback, so that's how many playbacks they put an advert on, was up as well, 37%. Now the CPM, this value here, is what will actually drive how much money you make from YouTube. My CPM, you can see it's dropped by, you know, a fifth already. So it was up at 14, 15 pounds. A CPM normally for a channel could be between one pound to four or five pounds. That's the average YouTuber. Because my videos are about money and investing in finance, advertisers kind of want my audience more so they're willing to pay more per view so that's why people in finance or perhaps in if they're doing with amazon fulfilled videos or anything like that about making money earning money spending money saving money investing money they'll pay higher to get their adverts in front of you there's no way that i can kind of see what adverts they can pick and choose it's either i get monetized or i don't there's no options there so this month that's really interesting you know a couple of green couple of things have gone up when the Right direction but obviously I would have earned more if my CPM had been as high as it would have been um, I could have maybe earned about 20% more there but it doesn't matter it's still a nice little side hustle for me that I still get a lot of joy a lot of happiness from so I'm super happy and it'd be interesting as well in February and um, showing you how this increases or would it decrease or whatever happens with a channel so if you're someone with a side hustle or you're perhaps got a YouTube channel or a blog this kind of gives you this glimpse of actually real amounts of money that people are making with a little bit of side hustle. So I hope you really enjoyed today's video as always. I like to throw in these personal real life videos as well as talking about personal finance and investing and success mindset. I want you to feel that this is your number one resource for a real family, real people actually changing their life with money. Money is just a tool to design life on your terms. I want to show you that organically happening for a real family. So whether you're somebody who has a family or you don't have a family, it doesn't matter. It's all about taking money and using it as a tool to design your life. So if you fancy any more information about investments, savings, side hustles, any of the topics that I mentioned, why not binge watch some of my other videos on this channel, particularly my best of playlist. I think you're really going to enjoy. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And in particular, if you're brand new, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Why not hit subscribe so you always catch up with my videos. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.